71, 72, 73. Oh, hey, how you going? I wonder what you've been doing in lockdown to keep from boredom. I'll tell you one thing that I've been doing, 75, 76. Part of my daily routine during lockdown has been to tally up how many hairs come out of my head when I brush my hair every day. It's the little things, you know. 77, 78. I keep the tally up here on the wall as I brush my hair. And I tell you what, the longer this thing goes on, the higher the number gets every single day. So I wonder what you've been doing to keep from boredom during lockdown. Another thing that I've been doing each day is the daily Bible reading. A bunch of us from church have been reading through the New Testament, and it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. Maybe you want to join in. You can ask your mum and your dad to read the Bible with you each day. But a few weeks ago, I read a verse, and actually, it's where I got this idea to keep count of how many hairs that I'm losing. This is what it says in Luke chapter 12. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. It's a pretty amazing verse. God knows the number of hairs that are on my head. He's got them all numbered. Now, that's harder for some people than it is for others, let's be honest. But still, when there are 7 billion people in the world, God knows the number of hairs on my head. That's pretty impressive. And actually, this verse says that God pays attention to all the sparrows that are sold in the market as well, which was the cheapest of all the birds that were sold at the time. Two, five for two pennies. Now, we don't really eat sparrows very much anymore in our culture, um, but that's like saying that God keeps track of all the Tim Tams that are sold at the supermarket in all of the world. That's ridiculous. I mean, I think there's 10 or 11 Tim Tams in a pack. And I reckon the number of Tim Tams being sold has also gone up in the last few months. Wow. God's brain must be so big that he's able to keep tabs on all of my hairs and on all of the produce that is sold in supermarkets all over the world. That's incredible. God is so capable of thinking about so much stuff. But the point of these verses are that you and I are precious to God. That's what Jesus says at the end here. He says, don't be afraid, you and me are worth more than many sparrows. So what they're saying is that God loves us. He loves you. He thinks about you. He listens to you when you speak to him. He's concerned about every little thing about you, even the number of hairs that you lose each day. You really matter to God. It reminds me of a psalm, Psalm 139, which comes, it's a poem that comes from the Old Testament. This is what it says. Talking to God, it says, You have searched me, Lord. You know me. You know when I sit down <laughs> and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You're familiar with all of my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge, it's too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. And then it says a little bit later, How amazing are your thoughts concerning me? How vast is the sum of them? Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand on the shore. Now, sometimes you might think to yourself, I'm not important. You might even think, no one listens to me. You might even think, I don't matter to anyone. But I want you to know, and Jesus is trying to tell us, that that is not true. God sees you, he knows you, 
He listens to you and he loves you. Isn't that a wonderfully good God? I reckon. I reckon it is. See ya.